I was tripping across an old X-Play episode on uh, G4 back when that was a thing. And it was shocking to me that Adam Sessler uh, had a job. Um, I used to think he was one of the best game reviewers out there when he was uh, kind of rebooted that thing under his own banner under, I think, Discovery, the Rev9 games or whatever it was. And he was very articulate. He obviously put a lot of uh, effort into kind of making uh, poignant writing and whatnot. But I, it's clear to me now that looking back at it across his entire career, he was never really in love with video games. It was just a job that he kind of fell into. I don't know, maybe I'm reading into that too much, but uh, this particular example is just a absolutely scathing review of the 2006 Miami Vice uh, game tie-in, which... They want you to believe this game is actually fun and challenging. Huh? It's all been a pack of lies. Miami Vice the Crap Game is loosely based on Miami Vice the Crap Movie, which is loosely based on the extremely dated cop show from the 80s. I am replaying it right now. It's actually not bad, especially considering it was on the PSP, you know, a portable device, limited hardware, but it was made by Rebellion and Rebellion's actually a very long running and fairly solid developer. They don't usually disappoint. They made the, you know, the Sniper Elite series and various other games heavy into third person, first person shooting. And honestly, Miami Vice 2006 was kind of a little bit of a hidden gem. I've seen other people say the same thing. It's essentially a sort of Gears of War, only one analog stick, so you have to kind of uh, point and shoot, kind of like a cross between Gears of War and uh, Resident Evil 4. We can pretend there's a story where you go undercover and try to get information. It has to do with some low-level scale named Freddy. You put me on all that game, bitch. But unless it's this Freddy, I'm not interested. But why pretend? The story's pointless. So let's find the positive. Honestly, considering it has to tie in with the movie that wasn't exceptionally popular at the time, I think they did a pretty good job, honestly. The shooting is fairly solid. They've got a nice mix of shotguns. Shotguns are pretty deadly. They one good blast and throws a guy across the room. You know, SMGs and things like that. They've got somewhat of a kind of a stealth mechanic. You can sneak up on people. Uh, if you can shoot cameras out before they uh, see you, it won't trigger an alarm. An alarm will basically bring more guys in to shoot at you. They have some boating sequences. They have some hacking sequences. They have a whole drug economy and stuff. But Adam Sessler's review is just absolutely, like I said, scathing. He calls the the game absolute crap. He just makes nothing but terrible puns about Phil Collins and the show. He even insults Don Johnson during the review just to add some flavor. And then we call this mini game time filler. And Miami Vice needs all the filler it can get because this game is short, really short. About as long as Don Johnson's recent marriage. Oh, Don Johnson, you'll always be my Miami Vice. He basically also just straight up insults the show as well, which is one of the most influential shows on television. Love it or hate it. But uh, yeah, I just I, I had to share this because it was such a strange kind of weird artifact at the time. And I, I kind of wonder if X-Play and G4 was actually great or if it was just games on the big screen, you know, games on the television and therefore it was good. But looking back at it now, uh, YouTube and, and independent creators make such better reviews and way more compelling content that was on G4. I mean, it's got the flashy, obviously that somebody with After Effects or, you know, TV or hardware and software and things like that. But other than that, uh, in modern YouTube is absolutely trounced uh, G4 in terms of meaningful reviews because it had to be within that, you know, three to five minute snappy review format with enough jokes and references to weed and puns and things just to keep people interested for about three minutes before they shut off. <laughs> But anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Ever get a feeling you've been played? More than you can ever know. Miami Vice gets one Don Johnson out of five. Oh, and I don't care anymore. 